All right, 12.3 talks about the origin of life uh, on Earth, okay? And this is difficult because this happened four billion years ago and four billion years ago is a long time ago. So there's a number of different ideas, some hypotheses, but they cannot be proven and they cannot be substantiated uh, too well because a lot of the stuff, the evidence you would use to prove or substantiate any of these is gone because uh, it's been four billion years. And that's a really, really long time. Uh, so first you have to understand how the earth was created and uh, the idea of how the earth was created is widely ac accepted uh, as the Big Bang Theory in a way where uh, the entire universe was a giant uh, ball of, of mass and that mass exploded outwards at great heat and great speed, creating balls of liquid. Uh, so like think of lava. Okay. So at first the idea was the earth was a giant bubble of lava floating in space and bubbles in space form spheres. I know there's a lot of people who either like to pretend that they believe in a flat earth or who might very well themselves believe in a flat earth and you can believe in whatever you want to believe. Uh, belief is something that does not require evidence, but any bubble of anything that occurs in space will form a sphere, a ball, unless uh, disrupted. And there is no disruption that will cause it to be to form a disk or a two dimensional sphere that that is not possible. Uh, because it's a very specific force that would have to fall on it, which would be two pressurized plates crushing into each other. And you're not going to get that. So uh, that's why all the planets are round, or at least roundish, uh, some are a little bit more lumpy than others uh, and that could happen for any number of reasons but round is the general like a spherish shape is the general shape of the planets so once you accept that the ball that the earth was a ball of lava that lava was really really hot at first and uh that uh that really really hot lava actually started to cool i'm going to pause it here and show you a video of what a ball in space would look like Okay, so here I'm in YouTube. I'm looking up water in space. Uh, let me turn off the sound here. Now, why am I looking up water in space? Remember, the Earth is 70% water, and these guys are in the International Space Station. The International Space Station is a great place to like look at this. And you can uh, see here that this bubble, while he's messing with it to try to keep it in camera, this bubble of water is when left alone, will naturally try to form a perfect sphere. And now he's blowing air in the bubble and he's playing with the bubble. But if you left it alone, it would actually form what can only be described as a pretty perfect sphere, especially if you left it alone for a billion years. Okay, uh, He can't do that because of where he is in the International Space Station. But uh, for the rest of space, you could. Uh, here, this seems to be another one, and I haven't looked at this one, but uh, food dye, right? Adding food dye to a, a sphere of water can make it be different colors, and then the idea would be that it would still form a sphere. Uh, I think you put Alka-Seltzer or something in here, something that would cause bubbles, but that would be the idea, right? Uh, let's see, what did he add? Uh... Yeah, that's an Alka-Seltzer tablet. It's a something that's sodium bicarbonate. And you can see them added in there. And then uh, as you add it, it starts to bubble up, which is why it doesn't form that perfect sphere. But that's the idea, though, that uh, the Earth itself was a sphere of lava. And as that sphere uh, cooled, uh, it actually... Uh, as that sphere cooled, it actually formed a... Uh, a sphere with a shell on it. So I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to go back to the other slide because I know it's when I alt tab it messes with it. I'll be right back. Uh, so here, uh, then, this is the idea of how the Earth began, uh, and it's an important idea. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stop this video here. I don't see myself anymore, and we'll pick it up from here forward. But that's the idea. So if you understand that the Earth was a sphere of lava 
and that sphere of lava was created by an explosion, a massive, uh, a massive explosion. And then as it cooled over time, it formed the earth as we know it now, which is relatively smooth and round. 